One of the companies working on an antibody cocktail, which could theoretically prevent or treat coronavirus infections, has just released some promising new results from some of its human trials. CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta joins me now. Sanjay, tell us more about this. Yeah, so this is a Regeneron, a company that uh, you may have heard of, we've been keeping an eye on for some time. And the type of product that we're talking about here is something known as a monoclonal antibody. So it's basically a couple of antibodies that are found to uh, help neutralize this virus. Um, they, find, they create a cocktail of these two antibodies, and they've been giving it to people in these very early trials. Jake, and let me emphasize that. Uh, what I'm sharing with you has not been peer reviewed. It's only come to us through a press release. So we gotta give these caveats. We wouldn't normally be talking about studies so early, we're not in the middle of a pandemic. But what they showed, uh, Jake, was that in people who had symptoms but were not hospitalized, did not need to be hospitalized, in this study, it seemed to decrease uh, the, the length of time that they had symptoms. And also importantly, it seemed to decrease the amount of virus in their nose and their mouth. And that's, that's uh, really important because that would likely make them less contagious as well. I should point out the average age uh, of people in this trial, 45 years old. So 45 years old, they're not, I bring that up because they're not considered a vulnerable population. So if you're 45 years old and you're getting sick, would you go get this, uh, this uh, antibody therapy? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, you know, if you're getting really sick, maybe. If you're an older person who is vulnerable, maybe. And that's where the study needs to head next to find out if this is working for people who are you know, at risk of becoming more critically ill. But just as you framed it, Jake, early results, promising. A lot of people have talked about antibody therapy as sort of a bridge to a vaccine. And uh, this, this does nothing to sort of, um, you know, change the opinion on that.